Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. This is the last game for this March 19, 2022 NBA game day. This is Los Angeles Lakers with a record of 30 wins and 40 losses, visiting Washington Wizards, displaying a record of 29 and 40. The game will be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, standings first of these uh, two teams so that we'll have a closer look at them. Um, starting with Washington Wizards, they are at number 12 in the East. For their last 10 games, they have only won twice. And approaching this game, man, they are on a six-game losing slump. Uh, their last game was actually last night when uh, they got beat by New York Knicks. Uh, Washington tried to go back and they actually came back uh, as, as close as one point. But, you know, they, they failed to convert uh, that basket into their lead. And, uh, and so New York Knicks brought home the W. Well, the Los Angeles Lakers, they are at number 9 in the West. For the last 10 games, they have only won three times. But the good thing about Los Angeles, Los Angeles Lakers is that they're coming off a win. And that was also a win that they got last night against Toronto Raptors. So this particular game, Washington Wizards would have the advantage in terms of uh, home court. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, uh, we can just even it out because both teams actually played uh, last night anyway. Um, and in terms of momentum, I know this is kind of crazy because Los Angeles Lakers just have three wins out of their last 10. But uh, winning against Toronto Raptors uh, last night, I believe, should actually pump Los Angeles Lakers up and should actually give them some morale and some, you know, some momentum coming on to this game. So let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. Well, uh, starting with Washington Wizards, I only see two names down here. Of course, Bradley Beal is out for the rest of the season. And we have KP or Kristaps Porzingis listed as day-to-day -day or game-time decision. For Los Angeles Lakers, um, hold on. All right, here we go. Of course, Anthony Davis and Kendrick Nunn still out. And we have THT, Wayne Ellington, and Carmelo Anthony on day-to-day -day or game-time decision. So two are confirmed out. Possibly five, depending on the statuses of those three other players. And I'm looking at the spread right now. Um, it opened with minus 1.5 for Washington Wizards. So it is now at minus 2. It just, you know, increased for a little. So it's minus 2 Washington Wizards. This one's tough. I mean, both teams are on a struggle. Uh, and of course, Washington Wizards, they have some sort of moment, some sort of an advantage because they will be playing at home. Um, but then, again, just like what I said earlier, that win of Los Angeles Lakers uh, last night should serve as a you know, morale booster and momentum giver uh, for them as they approach uh, th this game against Washington. Also, not, not that long ago when uh, Los Angeles Lakers actually destroyed Washington Wizards. So I'm actually holding on to that, um, holding on to that uh, event as well as, uh, you know, as a that's something that I that I would consider in making a decision for for this game. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both teams are actually tired because both teams just played last night, right? Uh, this one's really tough, but I'm 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 expecting LeBron James to actually uh, score a lot on this game. Well, he is actually trying to break you know some records out there. At the same time, LeBron James scored a whole lot against Washington Wizards, so he must have this mentality coming onto this game that he can not necessarily a re repetition of what he did, but you know he knows how to he knows how to attack Washington's defense, especially if uh, was this um, Kristaps Porzingis would not be playing again. The last time these two played, Kristaps Porzingis wasn't there, so again uh, the the middle or the paint is not that you know it's not that hard to penetrate, it's, or it's not that hard to attack for someone like LeBron James. So I'm going to I'm going to take my die I'm going to take my pick and I'm going to roll my dice with Los Angeles Lakers plus 2. Again, that's LA Lakers plus 2. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.